Hi, so we're going to take a look uh, now at uh, adding an activity um, of the lesson type. Um, a lesson is is one of the more complicated types of activities. So uh, basically, we're going to create a sample lesson activity. Okay, time limit. We're going to we can enable a time limit of 20 minutes. We can label a available and a deadline. Um, maximum number of answers. We can say four. Okay, and then we can show advanced if we like. Uh, basically, you can have a password. Say you want to put this up uh, 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 ahead of time. What you can do is you can have a password, and then during the class, at the time, at the point at which you're about to say go, you can give the password. So, uh, grade is 100, uh, and we can categorize categorize this so that it goes to the right spot in our grade book. Uh, grading options: practice lesson, uh, yes or no; custom scoring, yes or no; allow retakes. Say so yes. Use mean or use maximum. Okay, so this allows students to come back in and just take the, the highest score. Uh, display ongoing score. Say so yes. Okay, flow control allows student to review. Uh, we're going to say no. Okay, so flow control is how the student will progress through the lesson. The reason why it's a complicated, um, the reason why it's a more complicated. Uh, um, a lesson type or activity type is that it's multiple pages basically is that you're creating so the flow is how the student would progress through those multiple pages okay maximum number of tenths is one default feedback progress bar uh, we like a progress bar uh, display left menu we're gonna put no okay pop-up or web page uh, we do actually want to pop up okay so basically what's gonna happen is <coughs> um, uh, some type of uh, web page will pop up. So let's say that we want a web page of um, uh, let's say that we want um, we want the Wikipedia page for Heronius Bosch, the uh, the painter, the Dutch painter, to be displayed. Um, so let's go ahead and we want um, we're going to uh, choose file. Oops. Hmm, that's interesting. Uh, I think I'm missing the file selection here. So, um, basically, it's only letting me. It's interesting that it gives me uh, the option for a uh, web page. I've only used files before, so let's go ahead and just use a file. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to print off my Heronius Bosch Wikipedia page as a PDF. Okay, so this brings up my PDF. I'm going to create. Okay, so that's creating my PDF. Oops. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're just going to upload the the uh, Wikipedia file as a PDF instead. Okay, so we click that, upload. Okay, so we have uh, we have this uh, pop up that's going to give us the student some uh, something to read off of while they're uh, answering uh, or completing the lesson. Dependent on, okay, none. Okay, so basically we can say that um, the dependent on is an interesting one because we can say that saying allows access to the lesson to be dependent upon the student's performance in another lesson in the same course. Okay, so we can have a, a lesson earlier in the course where the student had to complete it at some percentage. Uh, this is a really great way to limit how students progress their course. So if they're, if this is a really autonomous course, this is a great way to, to have kind of control of how the students are progressing where they have to get a certain score on an assignment before they can move on. Okay, so let's go ahead and save and display. Okay, so this is um, our sample lesson activity. All right. Um, so basically, what we can do is we can uh, we can add a content page. We can add a question page. Um, so let's go ahead and add a question page. And we're going to add a true false. 
page title. Um, we're going to say Lizzie Dutch. Was Bosch a Dutch painter? Okay, correct response. Oops. True. Okay, so that's going to be our first page. Now we're going to add new page. And we're going to add a new um, add a new content page. Okay, in this case, we're going to add um, uh, the garden painting. Okay, and all we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and add a, a, f a photograph in here. So we're going to insert an image. Okay, and let's say that we want to insert an image from the. Uh, uh, we're going to click on um, Wikipedia. We're going to right click choose choose image location we're going to right click paste and we're going to insert okay uh, we're going to call this garden of earthly delights okay so there's our content page um, and we don't want a left menu okay Okay, so we have a painting by Bosch. We're going to add the question page. Okay, so we have a lot of a lot of stuff, right? Okay, so add new page. Of course, is going to add a page just below. Okay, let's say that we want to add a question in, and we want to make this question an essay. Page title is Garden of Earthly delights uh, response. Okay, and the page contents are please give your thoughts as to the motivation of Bosch to create create this painting. Okay, we're going to add question page. Okay, so there we have it. Uh, so basically, this is the um, this is the uh, so in this case, let's say that this is our lesson. All right. Uh, so we're going to add a new page. We're going to say end end of branch. Add end of branch. Okay. So now we're going to preview the lesson. Okay. We're going to say true. And we're going to submit. Okay. It's the garden painting. Okay, so painted by Bosch.
Okay, we're going to go back and edit this. <laughs> okay, and I, I made a mistake when I was creating this garden painting page, so notice that a page type content, so I need to go back and edit this. So basically, uh, content one, Okay, and basically when, uh, so when I click on content one, uh, basically I'm choosing which place to go. So when I added this content page, I could jump to any different page that I want, right? Um, so when I say jump, uh, basically we want to jump to the next page. Okay, so when we're talking about branching, you have a list of pages inside the lesson and we can choose which page to jump to. Um, I was giving a simple example, in which case we want everything to jump to the next page. So we're going to go ahead and click Save Page. Okay, but notice, did you see content 1 through 4 on that page? Basically, we can choose any other page to jump to at that point. Um, okay, and then we have End of Branch. Uh, and on this, in this case, we want End of Branch to jump to End of Lesson. Okay. Okay, so basically what you're doing here in this lesson um, format, uh, just to go a little bit into it since I made that mistake, is that you have a series of pages in the lesson. So these are all your different pages. Now when you, when you choose, when you're editing these pages, basically you're choosing on, for example, on a question page, you can only choose to go to, um, you can choose it, you can choose to go to a different, um, correct answer, we can go to the next page. Um, wrong answer, you can stay on this page and you can give a response like please choose the correct answer. Okay, so, so basically what you're doing is in this lesson you're building up a series of pages and then you're controlling the way the student moves through those pages based upon um, this jumps to uh, on each page. Okay, so let's, let's go ahead and preview our uh, sample lesson again. Okay, so let's say that I would answer wrong. I click false and I click submit. Okay, your answer was false and remember I put please choose the correct answer, right? Okay, so we click continue. And now I'm going to click true. Okay, and in our true case, we click submit and we go on to our next page, which was this garden painting. Okay. Now in this case, we could have put you know, four different pieces of content. Each of those pieces of content would have been a button. So we would have had four buttons here where, where depending on which button I chose, I would move on to a different piece of content or a different content page. Okay, in this case, there was only one. I only put one button, you know, one piece of content, and it went on to our next page, which was a question. Okay, which was our essay question. And I'm gonna put And so I believe that he loved painting, and this was an exercise. Okay, I'm not sure how I really feel about the painting. Let's go ahead and click Submit. Okay, and in this case, congratulations, end of lesson reached. So I put end of branch and made that go on to the end of lesson in this case. All right, so, so a lesson is a very complicated, no, not very complicated, but it's a way to set up complex, uh, you know, flows of movement through a series of content pages or questions. You know you can get as, as creative with it as you can possibly get. It's almost as if you're creating a mini, miniature website inside of Moodle. Uh, so I hope this was helpful and good luck.